IQ. In this video of study IQ, I will bring to you the current affairs of 15th of February. And today in the quiz, all the questions are from Nabad assistant exam that was conducted last week. So there are 21 questions and all 21 questions are from the Nabad exam. Which railway station was declared eat right station and given four stars by the Food Safety and Standard Authority of India? Eat right station. Which one was it? Who has written the book Vault of Vishnu? Vault of Vishnu. It's a mythological fiction book. Which state or union territory started Mukhya Mantri Septic Tank Safai Yojana? Mukhya Mantri Septic Tank Safai Yojana, which is basically to remove the malpractice of manual scavenging. Which railway station is the first railway station in India to be fully solar powered? Fully solar powered. Who is the Prime Minister of Bangladesh? In which state of India you will find Shravati River? Shravati River. Kuchipudi is a dance from which state? Kuchipudi dance belongs to which state? Avanti Mega Food Park was opened in which state recently? Mega Food Park called Avanti. Konark is a famous festival of which state? Konark. What is the capital of Indonesia? Where is the headquarter of International Labour Organization? International Labour Organization, where is it headquartered? Who is the Consumer Affairs Minister of India? Consumer Affairs, PDS, Public Distribution System, Food Safety. Ramon Makes Essay Award is given by which country? Which country awards Ramon Makes Essay Award? Who won the Best Actress Award in the 66th National Film Awards? And preferably also tell me the movie for which she got this award. Who is the Chief Minister of Maharashtra? The telecom company MTNL. MTNL is set to merge with which company? MTNL will merge with which company? Mitra Shakti military exercise takes place between India and which country? Mitra Shakti. Sachi Stupa, this motif you will find on which rupee note, the, the back side. Sunil Chatri is associated with which sport? Sunil Chatri. Who is the chief of naval staff in India? Ram Ganga Dam is in which state? Ram Ganga Dam. So these are the 21 questions of today. Now let me tell you the answers. Four star rating and eat right station, it is Mumbai Central. Mumbai Central. And by the way, Mumbai Central is the first railway station in India to get Wi-Fi. So it got free Wi-Fi. Who has written the book Vault of Vishnu? This book is written by Ashwin Sanghi. Ashwin Sanghi. Mukhya Mantri Septic Tank Safai Yojana was started by Delhi, Delhi government. The railway station that is the first in India to be solar powered is Guwahati. Guwahati railway station in Assam. Prime Minister of Bangladesh is Sheikh Hasina. Sheikh Hasina. Shravati River you will find in Karnataka. And in fact, Shravati River has Jog Falls, one of the highest falls of India. Jog Falls is on Shravati River. It is basically in Shimoga district. Kuchipudi dance belongs to Andhra Pradesh. It's a classical dance. Andhra Pradesh. Avanti Mega Food Park you will find in Devas. And Devas is in Madhya Pradesh. The district is called Devas. Konark is a famous temple in Puri. Sun Temple, Konark. And it is in Odisha. Capital of Indonesia now is East Kalimantan. Earlier it was Jakarta. Now it is East Kalimantan on the island of Borneo. International Labour Organization is headquartered in Geneva in Switzerland. Consumer Affairs Minister of India is Ram Vilas Paswan. And would you like to tell me the party he belongs to? He belongs to Lok Jan Shakti Party, LJP. It is a part of the NDA, so they are giving support to the BJP, but the party is Lok Jan Shakti Party. And recently, Ram Vilas Paswan's son, Chirag Paswan, was made the head of Lok Jan Shakti Party. Ramon Makes Essay Award is awarded by Philippines. The country Philippines, Ramon Makes Essay was one of their presidents. The Best Actress Award was given to Kirti Suresh. Kirti Suresh for the movie Mahanati. Mahanati is the name of the movie. It's a Telugu movie. And Kirti Suresh uh, got the best actress award. Chief Minister of Maharashtra is Uddhav Thakre. There is a coalition government between the Shiva Sena, Congress and the NCP. Telecom company MTNL is merging with BSNL, Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited, the government owned telecom company. Mitra Shakti exercise is done with Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Sanchi Stupa you will find on rupees 200 note. On rupees 200. Sanchi Stupa is in Madhya Pradesh. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Sunil Chhatri is associated with football. He is a football player. The chief of naval staff is Admiral Karambir Singh. Karambir Singh and Ram Ganga Dam you will find in Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand. So these were the 21 questions. And uh, since these are actual questions from exam, the level you will see it is much easier. So I expect all of you to score at least 50. At least. Anyways, now let's see the current affairs of today. Union Railway Minister Piyush Goyal inaugurated the first phase of East-West Metro Line, which is a how many kilometers long stretch. Now, you know that Kolkata was the first Kolkata was the first city in India to get a metro way back in 1984. And now, after you can see 36 years, 
that in Kolkata we are having a second metro. And uh, recently, 5.3 kilometer stretch was inaugurated. You know, so this is a 5.3 kilometer stretch. But the total length of the east-west metro corridor in Kolkata is 16.5 kilometer, and it will connect Havda, which is on the west bank of the river Hooghly, with Salt Lake City. And the difference is that Salt Lake City is on the east bank of river Hooghly, and Havda is on the west bank of river Hooghly. So if this is your Hooghly, it will connect these two places. And by the way, um, Hooghly is a distributary of river Ganga. That is, it takes river away from, you know, it takes water away from river Ganga. So it's a distributary, not a tributary, right? And Kolkata is located on the bank of Hooghly River. The scientists have discovered the nearest known baby giant planet, which is named as 2 Mars 1155-7919b. This planet is how many light years away from Earth? So this is the nearest known baby giant planet. It is located at 330 light years from Earth, from our solar system. Not exactly from Earth, but you can say from our solar system. And uh, the scientist of Rochester Institute, the scientist of Rochester Institute of Technology, they discovered this baby giant planet. Which city will host the National Organic Food Festival for the Women Entrepreneur? National Organic Food Festival, it will be held for women entrepreneurs in New Delhi. And the festival is organized by the Ministry of Women and Child Development in association with the Ministry of Food Processing Industries. The Minister for Women and Child Development is Smriti Rani. Her constituency is Amethi. And she's also the Minister for Textile. And Minister of Food Processing Industry is Harsimrat Kaur Badal. Her constituency is Batinda. Right. And what will be the theme? The theme will be Unleashing India's Organic Market Potential. Unleashing India's organic market potential. This was the theme. And what is their target? They have a project 2025. This is called Vision 2025. That is, by 2025, they want to have an organic business market of 75,000 crore. They want to have an organic market in India worth 75,000 crore. And in 2015, just five years back, it was around 2,700 crore. So you can see the market will grow from 2,700 crore in 2015 to 75,000 crore by 2025. Which former Indian cricketer was appointed as the director of cricket of the United Arab Emirates? It is Robin Singh. Robin Singh, he basically, um, he has made his name in coaching. And uh, Robin Singh represented India in 136 one-day matches. Robin Singh. According to the banker's top 500 banking brands, which bank has topped the list of the highest increase in brand value among the global banks? So remember, among the global banks, highest increase in brand value was seen in Indus Ind Bank. Indus Ind Bank. And uh, India was ranked at number 8 position, you know, overall. India was ranked at number 8 position and China was ranked at number 1, number 1 position. Also, I would like to say that the banker, you know, it gave Shakti Khan Das, the governor of the RBI, as Central Banker of the Year Award for the Asia Pacific recently. Which country has banned e-cigarettes in both domestic and international flights as well as the airports? So, India has banned e-cigarettes. This was announced by the Bureau of Civil Aviation Security. Bureau of Civil Aviation Security works under the Ministry of Civil Aviation and the Minister for Civil Aviation is Hardeep Singh Puri. The Narcotics Control Bureau has organized the two days BIMSTEC conference on combating drug trafficking in which city? The BIMSTEC countries, they are headquartered in Dhaka and, uh, you know, the Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Corporation, etc. This is called BIMSTEC and it was conducted in New Delhi. New Delhi. Can you tell me how many countries are there in BIMSTEC? It's very easy. So, just tell me how many countries are there in BIMSTEC. Under whose chairmanship, the 15th Finance Commission has formed a five-member panel on defense and internal security? Very important question because this is about committee and panel. So, remember N. K. Singh. N. K. Singh uh, panel has been made on defense and internal security. And who is N.K. Singh, by the way? N.K. Singh is the chairman of the 15th Finance Commission. Right now, we are having 14th Finance Commission, but 15th Finance Commission will kick in from 1st of April 2020. So right now, we are having 14th Finance Commission, and the chairman of 14th Finance Commission is Y.V. Reddy. Dr. Y.V. Reddy. Who has become the first Indian to win the Player of the Year for 2019 by International Hockey Federation? So remember, Manpreet Singh is F.I.H. Men's Player of the Year. Men's Player of the Year. And there was an award which was Male Rising Player of the Year. It was given to Vivek Sagar Prasad. So Vivek Sagar Prasad is Emerging Player or Male Rising Star of the Year. So Manpreet Singh is the first Indian. And uh, remember, the coach of Indian hockey team men's is Graham Reed. Graham Reed. And the chairman of FIH is Andy Batra. Narendra Dhruv Batra. Salem Cricket Foundation. Cricket ground was inaugurated in which state? It's a new cricket ground, Salem Cricket Foundation. It was inaugurated in Tamil Nadu because Salem is a city in Tamil Nadu. And uh, the ground was built on behalf of Salem Cricket Foundation, cricketer Rahul Dravid, and Tamil Nadu Cricket Association head Rupa Gurunath. By the way, Rupa Gurunath is the first ever female to head a cricket association. She is daughter of, uh, she is daughter of, you need to tell me who is she daughter of, okay? It's very easy. Who is she a uh, daughter of? Rupa Gurunath. Who has been elected as the new president of the Institute of Chartered Accountants for the year 2020-21? So, new president of ICI is Atul Kumar Gupta. Atul Kumar Gupta. And who has been elected as the vice president? Vice president is Nihar Niranjan. Nehar Niranjan is the vice president, ICAI. Rajendra Pachauri passed away 
R K Pachauri. He was the former chief of which organization? He was the former chief of the Energy and Research Institute, that is Terry, Terry, the Energy and Research Institute, and he was also the former chairman of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa, who is on an official visit to India, is the president of which country? Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa is the president of Portugal, and who is the prime minister of Portugal? Antonio Costa. Antonio Costa. Do check out his handshake with Narendra Modi. Portugal's capital is Lisbon. They have a very eminent player in Cristiano Ronaldo. The Union Cabinet has approved changes in the direct tax Vivad Se Vishwas Bill to cover the pending litigation of which tribunal? This tribunal is the Debt Recovery Tribunal. Debt Recovery Tribunal. And uh, changes have been made in the direct tax Vivad Se Vishwas Bill. This bill was introduced, by the way, in the Lok Sabha earlier this month uh, with the aim of reducing litigation related to direct taxes. Who has been appointed as the president of the COP26 by UK? Why UK? Because COP26 will take place in Scotland. Which city? Glasgow. Okay. So, who is the president for this? It is Alok Sharma. Alok Sharma will preside over COP26. Who has been ranked number one in the 52 kilogram category for Olympic qualifiers by the International Olympic Committee's Boxing Task Force? International Olympic Committee is headquartered in Lausanne, which is in Switzerland, and Thomas Bach is the president of IOC. So remember, Amit Pangal has been ranked number one in the qualifiers. Who has been appointed as the chairman and managing director of Air India? The new chairman and MD of Air India is Rajiv Bansal. He replaces Ashwani Lohani. So Ashwani Lohani is not the chairman now, it is Rajiv Bansal. It's a very, very important question. Prime Minister Modi, he unveiled uh, the 63 feet Pancha Loha statue of Pandit Dindyal Upadhyay in which city? Pandit Dindyal Upadhyay statue was inaugurated in Varanasi. It was inaugurated in Varanasi. And uh, also remember that Prime Minister will participate in the closing ceremony of 100 year celebrations of Jagat Guru Vishwa, Vishwa Radhe Gurukul. Vishwa Radhe Gurukul. Let me write it here because it is quite important. There is this organization called Shri Jagat Guru Vishwa Radhe Gurukul. This organization has completed 100 years. And the most important thing, there is a new train that has been started by IRCTC and therefore it is a private train. It is called Mahakal Express. Mahakal Express. It will connect three important temples. One is Varanasi Jyotirling, that is Lord Shiva Temple. One is the Ujjain Shiva Temple, that is Mahakaleshwar. And the third is Omkareshwar. Omkareshwar. Varanasi is in UP, Ujjain and Omkareshwar both are in Madhya Pradesh. So it will connect Varanasi, Ujjain and Omkareshwar. Remember, it is India's first overnight journey private train. First overnight journey private train. Who is the author of the book Messages from Messengers? This book is written by celebrated author Preeti Shroff. The answer is Preeti Shroff. And uh, MD and CEO, Mr. Ashish Chauhan, MD and CEO of Bombay Stock Exchange, Ashish Chauhan was the chief guest. He basically launched this book. Who has been appointed as the Finance Secretary of India? It's a very important question. Devashish Panda has become uh, the Finance Secretary of India. He will replace Rajiv Kumar. So Rajiv Kumar is not the Finance Secretary anymore. It is Devashish Panda. So that was the video for 15th of February. I will see you very soon in the video 16th of February. God